Okay, welcome. Now, what we're going to look at today, I'm uh, going to combine a number of things, some of my favourite things. Chess, maths, I quite like rice as well. Now, it's an age-old problem, this. If I take one grain of rice, take one grain of rice, and I place it on the first square, now my rule is going to be, I'm going to double each go. So I've just placed two on the next square, and then on the next square, be double again. So I will place one, two, three, ooh, four on the next square. Now my question is, if I keep doubling, am I going to have enough rice by the time I get to the last square? So we're going to need to know how many squares there are. You're going to need, so that we should be able to work out. I suggest that you write down that first if you know how many squares are on the chessboard. The next thing I want you to do, so I've got about a kilo of rice. So how many grains of rice, how many little grains are there in one kilo of rice? Now obviously that varies from, from rice to rice. There's no way that we can know for sure. There's no way, I'm, I'm not gonna go through, I'm not gonna get all of that rice up. But if we could estimate it, now I don't want you just to make up some number. Don't just like come out with some number, 10,000, 1,000, 500, whatever it's gonna be. I want you just to spend a few minutes and actually think, right, I wonder how many are there. Maybe put something together. Make sure that your teacher understands where your number comes from. Right, the next thing that you're gonna do is, you're going to draw out a table, okay? So you're going to draw out a table. We've got our table. Now, your first challenge is to, we're going to give you five minutes to write down as many as you can, but in five minutes. So I'm going to start off. So on the first square, there was one. And then it goes two. And it goes four. And then after that, Eight, right. So in five minutes, how far do you get? So what I want you to do is wherever you get to in five minutes, just draw a line. Hopefully you'll get further than me. So just draw a line and write five minutes next to it. All right? So you've written five minutes. Next thing that we're going to do is, okay, so you can carry on you can use your calculator, okay? Oops. Right, use your calculator to keep doubling. I suggest that you check the numbers that you've done. Make sure that they are right. So just go back and just double check them because if they're wrong, everything else will be wrong. So go back and check. Now, take it as far as you can, but something weird happens on your calculator. At some point, something strange is gonna happen and I want you to try and think, so what's going on there? What's happening when you get to that point? Can you explain what's happening on your calculator? Something a bit odd happens. So try and use your calculator to go for it and complete the table, right? That'd be fantastic if you can do that. When you've completed it, okay, how does that compare with how many grains of rice you think there are? Now you can quite easily go and look up how many grains of rice are approximately in um, one kilo of, uh, uh, sorry, how many grains are in one kilo. So you can go and do that. Can you maybe look at how many grains of rice are on the board altogether? I'm making some suggestions here. Some of you might be able to find a quicker way of getting to the final answer. Now that would be a cool bit of maths if you can do that. Right? I'd be really interested in seeing that. Can you find a quick way of getting to the answer at the end? Now that's really good. Other things that I would like you to do. Maybe you could change the rules. Do you have to start with one? Maybe we could start with a different number. What about if we started with three? Doubled it, we could do that. Does it have to be double? What about if you multiply by three each go? Maybe. Does it have to be multiplied by a number? Maybe you could, to make it a bit easier, maybe you could add two each go. So the first one, we get one, three, and then so rather than multiplying by two, maybe we could add two each time. 
Would I have more grains of rice or less grains of rice by the time we get to the end? Right, so there's, there's some suggestions about things that you could do. Now the ultimate challenge is whatever rule you go for. If I said the 30th square, can you tell me how many grains of rice are on that particular square? So whatever rule you come out with, can you do that? So there's lots there to work on, right, for your lesson today. See how you get on. Send your work to your teacher. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I've been RMS Maths and I'll see you next time. Maths out.